Today is the last day with this Libra moon. What does that mean? My name is Sarah, I'm a mom and an astrologist. If you wanna learn how to work with me, check out this space over here. It shows you everything. And um, my Patreon is there too, where we're growing. I'm excited. So Libra at its core wants peace, harmony, balance, sometimes self-sacrifices to get to all of those things. Loves visual beauty, loves one-on-one -on -one time. Aries at its core likes to initiate, have things be one way, um, likes to be the leader. And over these last three days as a collective, we have been asked to figure out how to meet in the middle between the two. Anytime there's an opposition, whether you are born with one in your chart, I was born with several, I actually like them, um, or there's one in the sky, like when there's a full moon every month, meeting in the middle is where the work is. And that's where the, the uh, ability to figure things out becomes apparent. It's like that old Diamond Rio song. He starts walk, uh, she starts walking my way, I start walking hers. We meet in the middle underneath a tree. You know that song. Well, maybe you do. It's that kind of idea. It's not necessarily compromise. It's just how do you meet in the middle? Because it's about you, about yourself. This Libra lunar eclipses energy is going to be with us at least through the next eclipse season, if not longer. So if you're noticing things that you just feel like, oh, I should write that down, do that. It could come up not just because of this lunar eclipse, but we, we're in Mercury retrograde shadow right now. So you might see this, if, especially if it's around your communication, um, thoughts that come in your head, how you process things a couple more times. So you might see those things more too. I especially want you to pay attention to your dreams tonight because we have a very long void of course moon that starts at 6.08 p.m. Central Time and will go till a little bit after 4 a.m. tomorrow. So your dreamscape might be very intuitive and very insightful today. When we wake up in the morning, the moon will be in Scorpio and that's a completely different vibe and I'll share with that about tomorrow. But for today, I want you to intentionally write down a list of how you bring peace and harmony to yourself. If you feel like you need those things in your life, what do you do to make those happen? Do you draw a bath for yourself? Do you grab a piece of chocolate? Do you go on a walk? Do you talk with a friend? What do you do to bring peace and harmony? And if you feel comfortable sharing them in the comments, please feel free. It might give somebody an idea of what they could do for themselves too. And then we get to help each other out. Let me know if this helps.